Hello, hello, my friends. It is Dion at the Blushing Mint. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome to all of you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of my life, for being a part of my channel. I am just super excited to have each and every one of you here. So what are you looking at, friends? What are you looking at? Well, this is the mess on my desk. All right. But I am going to call this Mess Making Monday. Um, so that is what I'm going to call this is Mess Making Monday. But it turns out it might be a mess, but it turns out so cool. So I am going to show you guys how to create this beautiful handmade, hand created paper. Look how pretty it is. There's just so much to look at on there. It's just incredible. I love it. Okay, so we're going to make this together, friends. And I want to tell you that I found this um, because, hello, it's been in the negative 30s, negative 50s wind chill here in Montana. It's damn cold, all right? There's just nothing else to say about that. It is damn cold. And so um, I have not been out in the shed. Um, today is the first day, which if this is Sunday that I'm filming this. Um, I did not come out here at all um, Saturday at all. Did I come out on Friday and film? I can't even remember, but I have been stuck inside. So I've been watching some YouTube stuff. Um, but Pam at the paper, Pam at the paper outpost is where I saw the video for this. And I believe that she referenced Lemon Creations. Um, for where she saw it, I could be wrong, but I'm 90% positive it was Lemon Creations. Um, and But Pam at the Paper Outpost, and um, if I can remember, I'll link her video below, but I will tag her regardless. So you can always go over to her YouTube channel and find it from there. Anyway, so that is where I saw this idea, and I was like, woo, I have all of this, these supplies to do this. So the pretext of her video was using up washi tape. Um, and you guys, I have told you time and time again, I have so stinking much washi tape. It is ridiculous. I have a big, huge basket under my desk. And so I pulled out a bunch of different styles of washi tape from my basket. And um, that is kind of the basis for where this goes. And then we have washi stickers. Those of us who've been crafting for a while, we've ordered those packages off of Wish and Amazon and Timu. And they're the washi stickers. Um, and some of these have little animals on them. Um, and so this is a way to use up all of those things. And I have, I'm seeing that my video is flickering. Give me a second. I want to check and see. Nope, I don't have autofocus on. Not sure why it's flickering, friends. Um, but I apologize. And it could just be the fact that it's still so dang cold outside. I think it's only in, I think it's in the negative teens today. Um, but anywho, so we're using washi tapes, we're using our washi stickers and some of those things. And, um, let me see, gosh, I, I hate that. I don't know if it's doing it just on my side or all the way around. I'm going to try this and see if changing from frame rate to exposure changes it for you. Um, anyway, so let's get together and make some of this crazy random handmade paper. Okay. Artsy, artsy, artsy. So this is just a book page. Okay. I cut this out of um, an old dictionary page. I just, this was an encyclopedia, actually not a dictionary. This was an encyclopedia. So I got some papers out and um, you just, you want to make sure they're two together. I guess it's really not necessary that you make sure that they're two together, but I like them to be together. And then all you do is you start with some of your washi tape. And now if your washi tape does not stick well, Get your glue stick. 
get out your glue stick and just run your glue stick over your washi tape to make sure that it's going to adhere down for you because you do want your washi tape to stick. Now, a lot of people say you can put your washi tape in the microwave for 10 or so seconds or whatever and it will... Um, it will warm back up for you. Um, yeah, I my microwave is in my house and I'm out in the shed, so that's not going to happen. So what I'm doing is I'm just randomly picking some washi tapes. I'm using neutrals for the spine area. And what you want to do is you want to cover the center of your page. Um, that way, uh, one, it stays together. And two, I don't know. I just, that's just what I'm doing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, friends. Hot mess Mondays, mess making Mondays. I don't know, friends. Y'all know me by now. You should know me by now. I'm just a mess. I'm just a mess. I'm a girl who knows how to make a lovely, lovely mess. Okay. And one more little piece here. All right. So, and then you just add washi tape at random around your page. Um, and you can choose to change different kinds of washi tapes. Um, just get what you have and use it. That is, that is the goal of this exercise. Use what we have, friends, because you know we all have a stash of washi tape. Um, we all jumped on the washi tape bandwagon and, um, yeah. So I'm just going to. Rip some of this off and just layer it around my edges. Um, here. I don't know. Just at random, friends. Nothing. Nothing planned. Nothing like that. Then I'm going to get a different style of washi tape here. And I'm going to, this has some flowers. And I'm just going to lay this in here. And these flowers are all different. And, um, Whoops, well, that worked out. So I'm just going to lay some flowers in the background now. Figure out where the edge of that ripped. And dealing with washi tape and washi stickers are not my fortes. Um, you know, if you've watched me for a while, you watch the how long will it take Dion to peel off a, the backing of a washi sticker. It's a real thing, friends. It's a real thing. It is a struggle. It is a challenge. And some days I don't win. Just saying. Okay, got a few of those in the background. You want to make sure, those were pretty sticky washies, so I didn't have to um, put glue on them. If they start to come up, I'll just grab my art glitter glue or my um, glue stick and um, add some more to that. Let's see, what else do I have here? I love this washi. I love this washi. Let's put a few of these. And this washi has a backing on it. Imagine that, would you? So guess what? 
How long does it take Dion to peel the backing off the washi? I don't know, friends. I don't know. It is a true and honest struggle. Love, exciting news. Come aboard, this channel welcomes you. It's the blushing mint, it's not the love boat. But that's okay, I can sing it my way if I want to. Okay. Here we go. Now, here is where the mess starts. Okay. You see, I've got my little I've got my little palette over here. And in this jar here, I have some really dark coffee. I started with this morning's leftover coffee from my husband. Thank you, Jamie, for making some coffee this morning. And I started with that, and then I sprinkled in about a teaspoon or so of granulated um, instant coffee and shook it up really good. And so it is some dark, rich coffee. Then I have a little pile here from... Um, From, sorry, somebody is messaging me. Let's just make sure. Okay. From that, I'm going to lay down some white acrylic paint. Okay. This is just, um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's Liquitex white acrylic paint. I paid nine bucks. Then I have a mixture of burnt umber acrylic paint. I think I got this at Michael's. And I mixed a little bit of my coffee with that burnt umber. And then this is a really liquidy um, version of the white acrylic. So that's what's on this little palette next to me. Um, first, we're going to go into the straight white acrylic paint. And we are just going to, at random, willy-nilly do some you can do it as thick or as thin you can do it sparse you can do it full strength um no rhyme or reason here friends at all just um put some white paint on the background do you however you want to do you on this paper just have fun make a mess um Cover your paper. Don't cover it fully. Um, whatever. This is how it rolls. This might be a really long video, friends. And when I'm, and I will definitely make sure that I speed it up when I do some drying, so that um, because if you're new to my channel, guys, I don't know how to edit. I mean, I'm sure I could probably figure it out, but ain't nobody got time for that. So at least this girl doesn't have time for that. So you get me raw, real, and unfiltered and all of the other things that I am because I am true and authentic and that is me. I am a mess. 99.9% .9 of the time, but that's okay. That's why some of you come back because, you know, <laughs> you can feel so much better about yourself after watching my channel. Just saying. Okay, so I'm just, and you've seen me kind of brush back some. I mean, it looks, it looks like a hot mess, friends. That's, I mean, seriously, hot mess. That's the goal. Um, cover your surfaces, friends. I did get out a big, huge file folder. That's what's underneath of me is a big, huge um, 12 by 12 file folder that I have cut the hanging file folder that I've cut the hanging part off of. And um, that is that is what I'm using below me here. I'm... Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that for the most part. 
yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Okay, Ooh, let's make a bigger mess, friends. All right, going in, I got a toothbrush here, an old toothbrush. Please don't ever use this again unless you're out in your craft shed. And I am literally dipping it into this coffee. And I am just splattering that coffee about making a mess. Making a mess. Now, I could go even further because in this mess, Yep, see? I can just lay down a few rings. Yeah, just saying. Okay, now I'm going to stop for a second and I'm going to let this run for in a few places not big time i don't want like super huge bunch of a mess grabbing my heat tool and i'm gonna dry this and i'll be back so don't go anywhere because i will be back i promise friends my layer and so in here now i have my burnt umber and a little extra coffee and I'm going to just add, I'm going to hit a bit more of that in some places here. And now with this, I'm actually going to fold my book up and I'm going to do a bit of a smush with that and see what I get. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. This is just, this is just me. Um, I'm just playing. So I want a little bit more. Up here. And if you don't like the direction that it's going, friends, take your baby wipe or whatever you use in your space and dab it off a little bit. Push it around. Um, this is, there's no rhyme, no reason. You do you and just have some fun creating some different patterns and whatnot with it. Okay, I still want bit more up here, I think. Okay, I'm going to dry that real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with my paintbrush and I'm going to get this glob of white and get it down here. Put some more water to it here. Thin this out a bit. Get it to where it's a good shakeable consistency um guys this is going to make a mess so if you're worried about your backgrounds and stuff like that um please cover up anything that you're worried about because it does it does spread it doesn't necessarily go exactly where you want it to so um you know be prepared I'm sure there's a like technical technical way of doing this, um, but yeah, that would be this is this is not me. A 
big splatters, little splatters. I don't know. Just, just do it, friends. Just splat, splat it, splat it around. Gosh. Okay, now gonna stop, pause, not stop, pause, and um, dry this off again. So hang tight. Heard you guys talking while I was paused, and you're like, "But Dion, what if I don't have white acrylic gesso or white acrylic paint or burnt umber paint? What am I supposed to do? How do I do this project?" Okay, do you have your gesso? Do you have gesso? Um, you can use your gesso. And remember, it doesn't have to be this. This can be the cheapest paint you get, the like little, I think it's Apple Blossom paints from um, Walmart or the dollar store acrylic paints, poster paint, something like that. Um, how about your ink reinkers? Um, you could use um, your reinkers to create the dark umber. You can use um, different strengths of coffee to get to this point. Um, use what you have, friends. Just use what you have. This is about using up all those things that we have in our in our environments and. Um, that is the goal. All right, so now I want to come in and I want to bring in some um, some elements that are forward on the page. So now everything we've done has been pushed into the recesses of the page. Now I want to come in and I want to bring some elements forward onto the page. So I'm coming to my washi stickers here. And I'm picking a color family. So like this last one, I kind of did pinks and reds, darks, pinks, and reds. This one, I think I'm going to pull some blues and lavenders out. Um, so I'm just finding some washi stickers here that I can add. Um, and I, you guys, I've had these forever and a day. I know that I got them off of Wish. I'm 100% positive that is where all these came from. So, um, maybe I'll do like this. I'm thinking. And then... I love that one there, and one more purple and or blue. Here we go. Like so. Love. Okay, whoops, there's some yellow. Okay, so now, oh, here we go, we're playing the how long is it going to take Dion to get the backings off of the stickers? Here we go, friends. Oh, this could be half of the video. I'm sorry, you guys. This is a real thing. This is an absolute real challenge. I don't know why they have to be so complicated. I don't know why they have to be so stuck. Why? Why they got to go getting all stuck in there? All right. Just laying these down here. No real rhyme or reason, just covering them up, bringing them into the foreground here. Woo, girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have done two in almost no time. That is peeling the backs off of the stickers, friends, not making the papers. Just saying. I love this. This is fun. This is fun mess making. I love it. Love, love, love it. This is just, this is just play. This is just play. You know, not having to, no rhyme or reason, not having to like make an entire journal or project this is just a fun way to use some of those book pages and 
just get out and create something unique. Now, what would you do with these, right? Okay, because that's always the thing. Well, great, Dion, you made these pages. Now, like, how am I supposed to use this mess? Um, guys, these are, like, amazing for in the center of a journal. And then you could put an envelope or something else in the center. But these, this is, like, a perfect center spread. Um, you could um, just, I mean, adhere them like a page in your, in your journal. Just sew them right into the center of the journal. Um, with all your other pages, um, you can cut them up and you can use these as um, like a master board, so to speak. Um, so cut it up and make tags and tag bases and tag shapes, um, journaling cards. Um, fold it into the shape of a, of a envelope and make a beautiful um, envelope. So, I mean, like, you know, let's just say this was your envelope. And you could make an envelope out of it. Um, so, I mean, just use them like you would use your other papers. But I think Masterboard idea is phenomenal with these. I almost feel like I need one more sticker. Ah, is there another little purple one? Okay, I might have to use another one because I feel like I need one more on here after I put this one on. Oh, good Lord in heaven. Peeling washi tape is like my least favorite task. Oh, ripped it, but that's okay, friends. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I can still use it. I'm going to still use it. There we go. Look at that. You'd never know. You'd never know I ripped that sticker. Who said I did? Who thought? I don't know. Okay, one more. One more. One more. Something with some purple. One more. I already have that one. This is a lot of purple. I feel like that might be too much purple. Um, come on. Show yourself. Show yourself. I know you've got to be in here. Oh, look, right there. Gosh, like it was meant to be. A little blue, a little purple, a little bit of fun. All right. I feel like I almost mastered that peeling of the washi tape on this project, on the, the washi stickers. Man, I felt like a master there for a second. All right. Now, where some of these stickers are, like, really white, I'm just going to take my little ink dauber, just kind of rub around it, um, take some of that perfect white out, and blend it in with some of the darks that are going on there so that it doesn't stand out quite so much, okay? Gosh, oh golly, this is fabulous. I hope you like this. This is fun. Okay, now, um, I feel like we need to add some, I think, did I get them out already? I did. I buried them. Okay, this is my field notes from Tim Holtz, um, and it's just got a lot of great numbers in it, and so... I like it for the numbers that are in there. So I'm just going to get a stamp block. Oh, whoops. Kids, I set my stamp block down on that white paint, and then I stuck it in my drawer and got white paint on things. That's not cool, friends. That's not cool. I need to do better. I need to do better. Okay, and I'm going to use um, permanent black ink, not my, not a pigment black, and just stamp some random numbers around here. Ok, 
Okay, enough of that one. And pick another number. I got a mess on my desk, friends. I do. It's a mess. doesn't have to be the whole the whole number okay and then I feel like I need what does this say oh well, this is a received by maybe I'm feeling like a little postage something or another in here These are always fun to have in the backgrounds going on here. Love. Wow. Okay. Now, what else do I need to do? Oh, I'll add um, maybe a bit of a label. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Um, sorry, friends. Just, you know, I told you I have a mess. That was like something out of the window. I needed another baby wipe because I'm a hot mess. Um, yeah. Okay. So I felt like... I need a little label here. So let me look for a little label. I got all these little washi backs. I got to get into the trash can over here. All right. Labels, labels. I have this cute little bin of labels here. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in half because they're like too big on their own, or at least in my opinion, it's too big. So ink the edges. And these are label stickers, or I think they're stickers. Could be playing games with these too. Hello? Are you a sticker? Are you not a sticker? Hmm. Okay, well, it's really thick, um, but it is not a sticker. Um, I just peeled the back off of it. So I'm just going to put some glue on it here. Okay, and... It is super thick, so I am going to peel back one layer of it because it is like a super thick lab label. And I don't know that I want 
something that thick on there. So then I will add these in here. Let's find, what else do we have for a cute little label? Um, I have, this is a bunch of Tim Holtz little things. Um, maybe put a few of these little things around there. Um, basically, you can just decorate till your little heart is content with this. I mean, you could go on and on and on and on, honestly. I mean, there's just so much you could do on these. Never ending, never ending, honestly. Okay, so I found a few other little labels, little things that I can put on here. Down here, some little stamps. So this is just a fun way to use up some of those washies and stickers and book pages because let's face it, if you're like me, you have some books in your collections and like I look at my books and, and the reason why I, I've said it in um, videos before. The reason why I have so many great books in my collection is because my husband's nephew um, helps an auctioneer and um, he knew that I was doing this journal thing. And so bless his heart, he would find antique books and he would buy boxes of antique books for me and deliver them to my shed here. And I would come home and there would be boxes of antique books just sitting outside my shed. And it was so sweet. But I have so many books now. Um, but they're all so amazing. It's hard for me to want to even use them because some of them are so antique. I mean, I, like I have a lot of 1800s, um, 1800 and like early 1900 to 1910 books, um, but I have to use them, friends. Like, I have to use them because there's just only so much you can do with them. So this is a great way to um, utilize some of those books, or if you um, are doing altered books and you rip out the pages and whatnot of your altered books. This is a great project to utilize those pages that you've ripped out of books too, is just put two pages together, friends, and um, collage away with your washi tapes, with your stickers, with all of that stuff. So friends, I'm going to call this a video. This is my page for today. Look at that. Isn't that just, man, I am telling you, this is fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Check out all those colors. I need to come over here and I just need to do a quick trim. Do I have my scissors? Because I see I have a sticker that stuck out, piece of tape that stuck out there. Um, but just take a look at that. Like, how awesome is that? And it's simply a book page. Love. So that is my page for today. Here was the page I made just before this one to show you. So those are my two pages, friends. And in real time, this was less than an hour a page, um, like 45 minutes total per page. 
Um, and I just think this is just a fun way to like make a mess, get out, use some of your supplies that you wouldn't normally use, use up that washi tape, those washi stickers, um, and all the other little things that we think that we've collected because we just are loving them. Um, let's face it, we got to use this stuff up. There's no, there's no sense in having all these things hanging around um, for somebody else to deal with when we're gone. So let's let's use it up, friends. Um, get started. Make a few of these. Um, comment below what you think of this, and um, if you're gonna try this, if you're gonna try this on your own. So get out, make a mess Monday, friends. Do it. Just have some fun with it. Thank you guys for being here. Seriously, thank you, thank you so much for being the best part of my day every day um, that you are here with me. I appreciate you more than you know. Have fun, friends. Be well, stay warm, and make sure you find time to, to craft. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.